So today we're doing Sakura vs. Kakashi. I don't really know what else to say besides that. We're gonna be talking about which one of them would win. Now, obviously, we can't do but part one, part two, part Boruto, whatever. We can't do that with Sakura and Kakashi. We're gonna part one, Sakura's a 12 year old girl that has no idea what she's doing, and Kakashi's like a 20 something year old man that had been doing it since he was like seven. So that's not fair. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Boruto Sakura, the Sakura that we see in the Boruto anime with all of her light novel feet, her The Last Feet, her War Feet, and we're going to be putting that version of Sakura up against different versions of Kakashi throughout the series at their the same rank. So Boruto Sakura versus Part 1 Kakashi, Part 2 Kakashi, The Last Kakashi, Boruto Kakashi, that kind of thing. So right now, let's talk about Sakura versus Part 1 Kakashi. So, to be completely honest, Part 1 Kakashi is trash. I mean, he's powerful, but he just, his feet aren't very good. He used the Shotengon for a few minutes against Zabuza, and he was unconscious for like a week. He was like, out of it. I mean, he had enough chakra and stamina to get up after a day or two and teach Team 7 uh, tree climbing. But aside for that, in part 1, Kakashi couldn't use the Shotengon. He was limited to using Chidori or Lightning Blade or Raikiri like three times a day, I think. I think he could only use it three. I mean, Kakashi just didn't have that much chakra or stamina back then. And that was a flaw he started overcoming in late Shippuden. He was also quite apprehensive at the idea of fighting Orochimaru. While Sakura is implied to be stronger than Zunade, who is one of the legendary Sanin, who was able to fight pretty well against Orochimaru. Also, during her fight with Orochimaru, Zunade was capable of lifting Gamabunta's sword and using it as a weapon. Now, I know that this is a Sakura feat, but considering Sakura is heavily implied to have basically confirmed to surpass Tsunade, I don't think it's much of a stretch to say she could do these things as well, especially considering she's had like 12 years to refine her technique by the time Boruto rolls around. I know some of you may bring up the Tsunade vs. Kabuto fight since Sakura and Tsunade are very comparable. Now let me to explain. I have always personally believed that Tsunade didn't take Kabuto seriously. It was kind of like the way she took Naruto, she kind of looked down on him. And then he pulled out that chakra scalpel with cut off with mess with her body. And he began to use her fear of blood against her. And she was severely handicapped. So yeah, I honestly don't think that's an actual thing you can use in this debate. I think Tsunade was handicapped and overconfident. I think if she had taken Kabuto seriously, she would have decimated him. Sakura is also capable of casually leveling a house as she did when she punched the ground with almost no effort put into it during her with Dorada. Part 1 Kakashi feasts are like nothing compared to his Shippuden self. So honestly, I would also like to bring up the fact that uh, Sakura's creation rebirth and 100 healing will last longer than Kakashi's Shotengon. Sakura held that Jitsu for a long time during the war for multiple full-length battles and had a ton of chakra. Kakashi could barely maintain the Shotengon during his battle with Zabuza. So yeah, and I also do think 100 healing would allow Sakura to tank a Chidori or a Raikiri due to the fact that 100 healing seems to be a cause and effect jitsu. There doesn't seem to be any skill level to using it. It's activated, it's activated. And 100 healing allowed Zunane to tank some pretty crazy stuff during her battle with Madara. She was given multiple wounds that would have killed most normal people and even cut in half at one point and was able to survive. 
But I will say, if Sakura cut in half during this battle, I will be counting that as a loss for her. Because Unade was essentially dead after she was cut in half. So yeah, I think Sakura would annihilate Part 1 Kakashi. I don't think she would have much trouble with him. I think she may have a little bit of trouble in the beginning, but I think at the end of the day, she would wreck him. Now, why don't we enter Shippuden territory? Now, I'm going to divide this up into two halves. The 4th Great Ninja War, the War Arc, and Pre-War Arc. Because anybody who debates Naruto vs. Battles knows Kakashi is a completely different person in the war than he was before the war. There is no reason for this, and it is really bad writing on Kichimoto's part, but that is a fact. So, the first free war arc Kakashi feat I have for Nio is pretty stupid, but it is something he did. So, when Sakura was attempting to kill Sasuke, he got behind her and performed a Shidori. Now, Kakashi even said himself that he was really trying to kill her. So, assuming he was going all out and intended to strike her down as quickly as possible and was going at full speed, Kakashi coming in and catching that Shidori makes things relative to the Raikage in terms of speed. Because remember, that was a Shidori that Sasuke was using to tag the Raikage. In that same fight, he also manages to Kamoi away one of Sasuke's Susano arrows. He was able to warp away the weapons of the Asura Path, so there's that. Some would argue Kakashi could just Kamoi Sakura's head off, but Kakashi never done that. Like, He's never displayed the ability to come away an enemy's head off, so there's really no reason to believe he could do that. In Sakura's story, A Love Riding Must Bring Breeze, Sakura was shown able to take multiple Biju Damas. And yeah, well they weren't full power Biju Damas, they were still Biju Damas and she tanked them. And they were around the thighs of the one that Four Tailed Naruto fired. Meaning they were probably forest level, and she tanked them, like, really easily. Also, if you go off of the assumption that Sakura 100 healing can do everything that Tsunade can, due to the fact that she has been stated to be stronger and more proficient at those techniques than Tsunade, um, Tsunade fought Madara with multiple Susano swords inside her body. Like, Tsunade died multiple times during that fight and just kept going. She was basically immortal. So what Madara did was he cut her in half. And I will give Kakashi this. If he is able to use Lightning Cable to cut Sakura in half, then yeah, Sakura's out of the fight. Because by the time Tsunade was cut in half, she was pretty much useless until she had outside help. All she could really do would give her chakra to Katsunyu to heal the other Kage. But in terms of fighting herself, she was done. The thing with Shippuden Kakashi is much like Part 1 Kakashi, he doesn't have a ton of chakra. Like, yeah, he used a couple against Pain, but then he was like, nope, I'm done. I'm done. He was done. He was out of it. Sakura, on the other hand, has three years worth of chakra stored up, or more than that, actually, in Boruto, stored up in the 100 healing dam. So she's not running out anytime soon. Now, War Art Kakashi, on the other hand, War Art Kakashi is stupid. So, I can't give you the exact number, but he used a lot of Lightning Jitsu and a lot of Kamoi. He pretty much banned this throughout the entire war until the very end around Naruto vs. Sasuke. His body kind of gave out because Naruto and Sasuke were the only people that mattered to the plot at that point, and Kishimoto would kind of he was like, Kakashi, man, then on now. You're not needed anymore. Then he, then he finally pulled the plug on Kakashi's infinite war chakra that he had during the war. In the time span of like two days, he fights the seven ninja swordsmen, regroups with Guy, Naruto, and Killer B, fights this full power Jinchuriki. He then proceeds to fight Obito and Madara. He had a battle with Obito, though Obito threw that fight, so that doesn't really count. But the point is that he fought Obito, went back to the battlefield, saw Jubito and Jubidara, and then he helped Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura defeat Kaguya. And by the way, yes, I will be talking about DMS Kikashi later. 
though I, I, I really hope I don't need to talk about it. I don't hope there's any disagreement in this fan base on that. He's also able to use lightning cable, which he could use to cut Sakura in half. He also takes the blows from the Biju, meaning a single punch from Sakura may not take him out, because Sakura's normal punches are not tail beast level, I am sorry. They're just not, you, there's no amount of wank you can give her to put a regular ass punch from Sakura at the level of a Biju. So yeah, at this point I honestly think War Kakashi takes it. He just has too many OP Jitsu that he's just able to use endlessly. He just has too many one-shot kill moves that would take out Sakura in a single strike due to the way they work that she can't really get around due to 100 healing. She, she can't get around her arm being Kamoid off and considering how easily Kakashi can use Kamoi now, there's no reason why he wouldn't just keep trying until he hit her. He can use it as much as he wants, essentially. So he can just do like 50 Kamoi, she would eventually get tired and she would lose her limbs, and you take out Sakura's arms. I mean, she could try using Chakra and have kicks, but you take out her arms, she's essentially out of the fight. Now, DMS Kakashi, DMS Kakashi is stupid. DMS Kakashi is the Kakashi with two Mangekyo Shadengan that can use purpose to Sano and was able to blitz Kaguya. Um, yeah, Kakashi murdered Sakura. Like, no. Like, he one shot her. K this version of Kakashi is, on the, is up there with this path Naruto and Sasuke. This isn't even a fight. This is murder. This isn't even fair. Boruto Kakashi is an interesting story, however, because he does not have his Shotgun anymore, so he's lost the Kumboy hacks he had before, but he also has way more Chakra now. The question is, does he have anything that could take out Sakura? Now, I think this is kind of the same thing as it was before, as if he can cut Sakura in half, he wins. And there is that feat I talked about earlier with catching Sasuke Raikage, Raikage speed level Jidori, meaning that he is relative to the Raikage, therefore faster than Sakura. The real thing is that if Sakura can land a few good hits on Kakashi, she's going to win. Kakashi's biggest advantage, in my opinion, was his hacks, was his Jadengan. And without that, his only real option is Lightning Cable, and that's the really only way he can win. So it, it's a two-way trick. If Kakashi can land a Lightning Cable on Sakura, he wins. If he can't, Sakura wins. Because Sakura is more powerful than Kakashi in terms of raw power, and he can't hack around her raw power anymore. Like, during the war, he was able to just Kamoi around her power. It didn't matter that she was way more powerful in terms of raw chakra and power than him. Then he could just Kamoi around it, but now he can't do that. He does have purple lightning, which may be able to do some damage, but I had not seen enough of how that works yet. Though I do think it would be somewhat of a threat to Sakura due to the fact that it's a ranged attack and Sakura would have trouble keeping up with that. But it's also worth noting that Sakura is at a point now where she can really perform a lot of those basic jitsu easily, so things like substituting for her won't be difficult. Sakura can substitute these attacks, and if she can substitute being the lightning cable, then Kakashi is screwed. Now, however, the real question is who has more chakra? Now, if my understanding of 100 healing is incorrect, they store more and more chakra at the near path, meaning Sakura 100 healing dam should have more chakra in it in Boruto than it did during the war. This will allow her to stay in 100 healing even longer and more make her more likely to outlast Kakashi. So, once again, if Kakashi is able to buy that chakra, cut her in half, he wins. If Sakura is able to tank, but uh, is able to tank his attack and avoid getting cut in half, she wins. Because honestly, without the Shotgun, gun, the only way he's winning is if he cuts her in half. But he also may be able to cut off a few limbs with Purple Lightning. I'm not sure, but I'm more inclined to give this round to Sakura for use. Just because she's younger, she's probably in better shape than him. It's heavily implied during his battle with Boruto that he's kind of rusty, that he's retired. 
So yeah, I'm inclined to get this Sakura. Um, tell me if you disagree in the comment section down below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos. And who should I do next? I'm thinking about doing Team 7 versus the Monster Trio from One Piece. I'm thinking about it. I may do that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry it took so long to get out. It just took forever to sit down and do it. And if you disagree with me about Sakura Bank Strength, which I didn't go into in this video, go watch that the programmer video on the matter. I honestly just didn't have time to do an in-depth explanation on how powerful Sakura is in general. So if you need proof that she's Kage level, that the programmer is just a beautiful why Sakura isn't weak video you should go check out. But I do talk about the first battle in here. I just don't feel like wasting 20 minutes proving to you to see Kage level. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Peace out.